Kelsey and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. Today I'm going to be unboxing another Fred Up mystery box. Um, this one is a little bit different than what I've seen before. This is a, it's supposed to be five name brand purses, but it's actually supposed to be one other item, one other accessory, so probably sunglasses. Um, so it should be a, a really quick video. Um, let's get into it. I have not opened yet. I've never ordered this one before. This is a big one. I've done purses, um, which is usually like, I think 15 purses, um, but this one is just five and it was $90. So that's pretty high for only five items. That's higher than the designer DIY box, which is seven items for $90. Um, so hopefully it's good. So the first thing I see is this light blue Kate Spade. And it's pretty cute. Um, it's not like super current, I don't think. Um, let's see if it has like a date in it. Uh, I don't know how the codes work for this, but the lining looks pretty good. The condition looks okay. It's a cute little bag. At least it's got the long strap and the short strap. So I'm happy with that. Um, oh, this is really nice. This is a furla purse. Um, I've only gotten one before, which I did not sell because it was stained, um, but this one looks to be in excellent condition. Um, it's a nice large tote and it's got this really pretty like curved top and then like a saddle stitching, I think is what that's called. Um, and it's just like the raw leather on the inside and it's got one pocket. And the condition looks really, really good. This one is, I don't know how much per curler bags go for, but this is in really good condition. So I'm very excited about that. And it doesn't look like it's missing a longer strap. I don't see anywhere to attach one. Um, this is a cute little coach bag. I feel like I've had this in like high school. I had this like shape bag, but this one's really cute. It's orange and it's just a tiny little, like tiny little purse, um, but it's very cute. So not mad at it. Um, this is an older style coach, uh, which you have to be careful with authenticity of these, but I don't see any like major red flags. I don't really know much about coach. I accidentally bought a fake coach purse at a thrift store one time and I listed it and then I was like, oh, that's a really good looking fake. And I was like, okay, I get it. And I took it down right away. Um, but yeah, so not super thrilled about this one, but it's fine. I will list it. It probably won't go for much. Um, this looks really pretty. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, I okay. This is a Re Rebecca Minkoff backpack, but it's really cute. Like it has a zipper down the front and it's in really good condition. Um, I also recently got a pair of Rebecca Minkoff boots that are really cute. I don't know how well they sell, but I really like them. This is extremely cute. Um, it's got like quilted sides and zip pockets. Let's see how the inside looks. And the inside condition looks okay. Maybe a little bit discoloration. Yeah, I see some discoloration, but nothing bad. It kind of smells good. It kind of smells like perfume. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. So Rebecca Minkoff, I really, it said four bags and one accessory. So this is not what they described, but I am happy with it. Um, so Rebecca, Rebecca Minkoff, two coach, the Furla bag and the um, Kate Spade, this like blue color. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other kind of boxes you want to see. If you want to see me order from somewhere else, I'm happy to try new sources. I recently tried um, Joe Mar for a one for one box, and um, I've been looking at other places, but I haven't found anything that really seemed worth it because. A lot of liquidation places are more expensive. I'm thinking about the Goodwill blue boxes, which I've heard bad things about, but then sometimes they're really cheap. So let me know. Let me know what you've had experience with. I'm only sourcing from home right now. I'm not thrifting due to the current situation. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to get these listed and let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click subscribe and give it a like if you like this kind of content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.